I want you to keep in mind is that eagles can fly without flapping their wings. A lot of birds cannot fly without their wings flapping. Most birds when they fly they have to flap their wings. Most we don't we can't fly even if you sing that you want to you believe that you can fly you still can't fly. But but eagles can fly and most of them most of the time will fly and you will see a picture of an eagle with its wings spread like an airplane and not flapping at all and just flying. Some of them can fly up to 150 miles per hour. Some eagles were found on the same uh, height as the airplane, 10,000 miles. What is the secret of flying without flapping? An eagle's wings are so heavy and so long that if an eagle will flap its wings all the time it will exhaust its energy will become so weary that actually it can die in a flight. One of the ways eagle preserves his energy is to wait for a gust of wind to come and then when a special wind comes in it just literally goes on that wind and that wind begins to carry that eagle into a higher altitudes without an eagle flapping but what the only reason that wind is doing that is because the eagle is spread its wings this coming year and the years to come you must understand life has storms and life sometimes has crazy days as a Christian, as a believer, you have something within you that no one else has. It's called your wings. Your wings is your faith. It's in the moment of challenging situations, you actually can spread your faith before God. And you can allow that challenging situation that causes the turkeys and the chickens and the vultures to run and hide but for you you can spread your wings in faith before God and that problem can actually elevate you higher in your career, in your family, in your finances, in your life and even in your relationship. Instead of breaking that relationship with your spouse it will bring it closer instead of driving those kids away it could bring them closer instead of causing you to be a school dropout it can bring you your faith can bring you closer where you actually begin to succeed in those subjects and you graduate with 4.0 instead of quitting college because your tuition ran out when you spread your faith God begins to give you scholarship provision and you recognize you finished college and not only finished it but finished it without debt it's Goliath who promoted David. It was Goliath who made David famous. And it was the lions who gave promotion to Daniel. Because when he got thrown to the lions afterward the Bible says and he got promoted. It's the fire kindled seven times that took the three Hebrew boys who were just normal people in the government and after that they got promoted and a letter was written. Anyone who says a bad word about their God, their house will be destroyed. How could problems kill some people and promote others? Because people who are like eagles and that is you and that is me. Instead of sitting there and hiding, you got the wings that they have. You have the wings they had. It's just sometimes our challenge is that we don't spread them. Everyone has a measure of faith. But this year, instead of asking and wishing and hoping you have bigger faith, use the faith you have and you will see what God will do spread the faith that you got before God and you will see what God will do in your dead marriage maybe in your dried up finances maybe in your challenging financial situation maybe in your emotional bankruptcy if in that moment you say God I'm not gonna flap and try harder I'm gonna trust more and you will see me through can somebody say amen I have a gentleman in my home group who just recently gave his life to Jesus Christ and had his second DUI. Because of that he was supposed to have his license be taken away. There was no way, there were some other things that were there, there was no way he could have not had his license taken away. 
he says if my license will be taken away he says I will not be able to work which means I will not be able to pay for the rent that means that I will not be able to my life will get completely hectic it will it will it will stop and he says I was warring and warring and warring and I was flapping with my wings and I was and I was praying but warring praying but warring about it. and then one day I realized there is nothing I can do I made a mistake I've repented I believe God set me free from drinking I haven't drink since I go to morning prayers I serve God and I'm gonna give this to God and say God you have a problem and your problem God is your license is about to be taken away I am not gonna worry about it because this is too big for me to handle I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna let you worry about it because this is your size problem I'm very tiny big problem tiny man you big God big problem I'm pretty sure you can handle it he says that's exactly what he said and he says Vlad I gave it to God you know these words is a cliche but to him it was life and death to him it was a sleep sleeping night where he says I slept like a baby knowing next morning I'm gonna receive a letter for six months to a year I don't have a license he says and next the week after that he says I received a letter from drive licensing for no reason they simply notified me that my license will not be suspended or will not be taken <laughs> with tears rolling down his eyes he said this was the first month I was able to pay for my rent pay my mama's rent my sister's rent pay my tithes and have a little bit of extra when you spread your wings when the storm comes I don't know how it happens but you always go higher if you flap it it will snap and break your wings if you hide from the storm if you run to the club if you go into a pornography to ease that stress if you pick up a bottle and simply say I just need to numb that listen you are living like a chicken but when you are an eagle you shouldn't do that you can do better because you can go higher